So, I am back with another Empire video. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I have a lot to talk about because I only wrote down four things that I really wanna talk about and it's really not a lot. We'll see if I can make this video stress to five minutes. But you got cooking, you know. I, I'm, I'm thinking about my boy, Sean Bradley. Well, well shout out to Sean, how you doing, pimping? They wanna sit here and you know, put a motherfucking rank and shit out there and shit. You know, I'm just saying, but I digress. But, uh, you know, Cookie in love with the dick, though. Like, she is in love. Like, Delgado put that shit on her ass so motherfucking smooth. This bitch turned to a motherfucking schoolgirl and shit. Over here cheesing and shit. Putting up the motherfucking phone like her ass up in class and shit. Like the teacher that walked in and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck else we got? Empire wants to go to streaming. One thing that I will say, I am, um, I said, I think we all see this, that Empire is one of the few shows that is very up with the times. And you see this in a lot of different episodes. And I'll actually go more in depth on this in the next review. It's not a review, the next talking points that I do. But he wants to go to streaming <clears throat> to, um, you know, kind of take Empire to the next level, which I'm like, okay, cool, cool. And we start to see that Lucius is reliving patterns of his mother uh, from, you know, him seeing uh, a gun on uh, this woman's leg that he wanted to sit here and have relations with and kind of taking him back to his mother having a gun and putting it to her head and... Mm -mm. And if you think about it, you know, connect that to Andre. Andre doing the same exact things. And <clears throat> I might be able to stretch this out to five minutes. Look, you guys, when it comes to things that happen in our life, we have to talk about this. Not just to someone to help us get clarity, but also to our families. Because I really do feel that if Lucius, and even though this is a fucking TV show, but hopefully what I'm saying can reach somebody. Because like I said, I use YouTube as a platform to not only encourage and act a complete fucking fool, but I actually use YouTube to talk about my life in general. And hopefully somebody can learn from something that I've went through. But even with that, the fact that these issues have happened with his mother, I think that if he had talked to someone and, you know, just someone even be able to help guide him in a general direction to help him kind of decipher what is going on, it would help. And even if he talked to his children about these things, it would help and even the fact that his mother had put a loaded gun to her head not fully loaded but just one round Russian roulette style which you even see that he hid the bullets I guess because he has seen her do that before and then the fact that his son Andre has done the same exact thing is one of those where you know again if we don't learn history and if we're not willing to share history because one thing to learn history is another thing to share it the fact that he didn't share his past which is his history it was repeated with his son and lo and behold his son is still here figuratively speaking but he could have lost his son you feel what i'm saying so just want to throw that out there you know just a little some some you know leave y'all with a little some some and you know you even see him just kind of reliving patterns even to the point where he's trying to find the right note just like his mother trying to find the bullets you know so it's like not only is, is the patterns uh evident in his son Andre it's evident in him as well just saying so for everybody that's watching me just a little bit you, you know of food for the soul for y'all we're in a win okay damn it I'm gonna get y'all small spirit and soul right quick I'm gonna just do it I'm gonna sit right quick if y'all have not watched my spirit and soul video about what season are you in please watch that if I remember, I will try to include links somewhere in here. <laughs> but um, what I will say is uh, this right here. Many of us are embarking on winter and we know when it gets cold and everything, things start to slow down. People don't really go outside. Everybody stays inside and whatnot. And th for me, that is a metaphor, even sometimes a personification of just what we should do personally. Because as we're going into a physical winter, most of us, cause some people still got fucking six to seven, eight degree weather. Mm -hmm. But what I recommend a lot of you guys do is take that time to go inward, start to search deep down within. Use that time to go from being on the outside feeling everything and going to inside and feel 
and start to you know kind of connect the dots with a lot of things you know i understand that sometimes going into your past can be hard uh harmful can be dark i even understand that sometimes it's not something that you want to do because you might end back up in a fucked up place but sometimes in doing that is when you get the most clarity tears will come pain will come stress sorrow frustration the whole nine trust me a motherfucker no but i just recommend that moving on getting on my soapbox and as uh you know uh my boy james cole will say you know boom 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 um the whole child's intuition thing you know you have um and then here's one thing that I will say on some real shit, and I really do mean this. For those of you who have children, just how women have a woman's intuition and men, we have the same exact thing. Most of us will pay attention to the shit, but we have the same exact thing. Children have an intuition as well, and children can see shit. For, on some real shit, I believe in spirits. I do. This is a personal thing. I feel that children, because they're so innocent and have not been corrupted, they, even in their adult age, they're more in tune with, you know, just the world than most adults are. So if your child is in here saying, okay, you know what, this person gives me a bad vibe or I just don't get something good from this person as adults, as parents, I'm not a parent, but I'm just saying, you should listen to your child. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it might just be them being jealous, but more often than not, they see something that you cannot see, whether you're blinded by the date, the pussy, whatever the case may be, or you're just blinded by the fact that somebody is actually showing interest in you. I ain't trying to throw no shade on nobody, but I'm just saying. And, um, yeah, that was in reference to Delgado and uh, Miss Cook, yeah? And that is all that I got. And as I said on um, the previous video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see all of you on the next video. Peace.